Hello and welcome to episode 26, season 2 of Derp Shield Revolution on Reika's dev server. Bubble, bubble zone is not particularly easy to get, it, to get your hands on. It takes a long time. Okay, so it's on the third level, not the fourth level. I would like this rain to go away now. Speaking of rain, um, you probably got that bedrock shovel and hole you wanted the other day, huh? I never actually got those. Oh, okay. I made them and then I forgot about them and put them in a chest. I kind of forgot about them as well. Um, what did you, what would you agree on that for? I couldn't think of anything. You can look through my walls of crap and see if you want any of it. A for sanity, yes. Wait, no, no, this is all diamond. Because I'm going faster. Yeah, I'm slowly losing my mind searching through this gigantic <laughs> wall of storage drawers. Oh, uh, I know that feeling. That's why I use a corporeal system. Oh, yeah, um, Where are my other gearboxes? Oh, there they are. Where are my other gearboxes? Oh, okay. Look like the shit on my A system. Or is there anything in Chromatic Rough that you'd like created? And the Axis switch channel to Omega Half Surf Hard Staff on the server. What the hell is that? Uh, Those are throwing knives. Throwing knives. Really okay. shitty throwing knives. <laughs> oh, yes, Tahara seeds. Do you have any other seeds? Uh, I've only bothered making Tahara plants. I can make um, any others, though. Well, I'll take like a stack of Tahara seeds. Go for it. I just. No, I have to use a controller. To, oh, wait, can I shift right click? No. There's a controller somewhere, right? There you go, two stacks of Tahara seeds ah. on the ground. Excellent, thank you. You have to shift uh, left click to get them out. Oh, okay. In stacks, just left click gets one out. That's actually something I. I have a farm, and I could just flip them down, but I. You know, happened. You know, for that matter, I should probably shut off my uh, wheat farm, because I have, like, 17,000 wheat now. And no use for it. I have yeah. one barrel of wheat with a void upgrade. What's aggression? So, what is that? What progression do you need for the... Um... So it would be the embossed. Alright. You bust up the recipe. Embossed with beams. The, it's in the casting table and it's saying, no, I don't want to craft. I can't tell you offhand. Mainly because I don't know. I've got the relay saw, which is the part that's making it a bit weird for me. But I just can't make the relay. I 
think you cannot create the relays? No, the casting table has the um, red circles aligned for it over the output. Huh, that's weird. That's it telling you you don't have the right progression. But I, I, I don't know offhand what progression requires, and I'm sick of looking at going to I made some relays earlier. I have a stack of them if you just want some. Um, that's. Yeah. Don't you. Uh, Liff, did you uh, set up a crystal network at all yet? Yeah, part of it. Yeah, that means that you're further along progression than I am, and you can't make them. Uh, have you not just put in the uh, page for it and check your lost pages? So those corners, right there, are columns, and then beams, and then more embossed. Essentially, it really doesn't require some thumb crack progression, would they? Probably gonna want to move all this down. And just beams in between. So I'm wasting a lot of power here. But hey, it's a gas turbine. And, you know, whatever. Should do what I do and write a computer graph program. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hold on. I'm, I'm wasting power because I'm using one gas turbine to hold your own extractor. You could do more in parallel. But I can't afford that right now. I mean, that's a bit of a waste of power considering it's you know, really easy to put it into a coil and use it without any power loss. Just think, you know, you can set the power to a low power state for the... You can set it to, you know, a 1 megawatt output for that state and then put it back up and that's considerably more efficient than using six, 16 megawatts on the 1, watt, uh, one megawatt stage. That might be able to see this. Route five this example. definitely can. Mm. I never actually thought of writing a program to run it before the server. Okay. Oh! Oh, I didn't know... I didn't even know I could use a wrench on Carpenter's barrier things to make them different. Under the walls and stuff. Huh. Didn't need to, but... Alright, a really crappy little Tahara shard farm. <laughs> She'll probably produce about 200 shards in its entire lifetime. Alright, where... Oh, where... Is... Hmm... I'm gonna build a builder and a... Architect's table and be right back. Alright guys, I think it is time to get ourselves some abilities. I made this off camera. So that's why it has just appeared here. But I want the magnetism. Well, I'm gonna need to find a spider then. What? Something about this is <laughs> not correct. I have one perplexus and one signum material essence. Hmm. I did something wrong. Be right back. All right, let's try it again. Aha! There we go. There we go. Uh, it turns out I had made the structure 
incomplete. It's supposed to be a pyramid, not what I had made it. So that's why it wasn't working so well. Anyway, unmuting TeamSpeak and yeah. Sound we do. Can make it do children false instead. Uh, Reka, can other people use a ritual altar to gain abilities that I have unlocked since I placed it? No, that's not how it works. I'm not too sure I understand your question, but from what I, the understanding I did get, no, that's not how it works. Alright, no worries. Anyway, I'll let this progress. I'm going to get a few abilities, mainly magnetism and whatever else is in there that would be useful. Enhanced transference, probably. Because um, I want to get these nifty abilities. Ooh, it's done. Yay. Uh, Sonic Blast, I don't really need. World Shift, while useful, I'm not going to actually use. Instant Health, Arrow Shield, don't really... Actually, hold on. I wonder... I've completely hit both scarcity now. Never be low on your material again. Health boost would be nice. Pile and surge protection is what I really want, though. Well, obviously, that means there's nothing left to do, right? You better stop playing. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back once you saw that on. threat. Alright, guys, I've decided what we want to do next. Well, I've decided what I want to do next. I don't know about you guys. But I want to make a magical wood cleaver. Why? Because magical wood is a fantastic material. That I'm really happy Rekha made. Super expensive. Um, <clears throat> the. What you call them? <laughs> I'm really happy he made the actual um, crystalline stone more or less worthless well not worthless per se but you know really cheap just experiencing lava mm -hmm. yeah i like that recipe i'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't make shielding stone instead but me it's all right well it's because as i mentioned you can get all the shielding stones you want forever yeah uh, how well, I was getting all those honestly, magical really wood is clothes, way too much experience. Alright, so, um, now that we have that, we need to assemble the cleaver. Eight modifiers remaining. Okay, do we have quartz? We have a very small amount of quartz. Wait, no, 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 no. We don't even want to do that. We want to put beheading on here. So we need ender pearls and obsidian. I like my uh, perfect loose measure crucible. I have a uh, block update detector above my crucible uh, attached to a piston, so the moment any uh, gas or anything gets created, it gets smashed. There is a much easier way of fixing the uh, flux cube issue. Yeah. yeah, there's that scrubber thing, but I can't be asked. No, not that. Batania flower. No, not that. Placing a block. Well, I mean, I could be using an alchemical construct, but I haven't set that up yet. The easiest way to do it is to simply surround your crucible with multi-parts so that it has no valid spot to place the flux goo. Well, I considered that, but then I thought, no. I don't want multi blocks in my room. Here. Just for that. Also, I like the piston coming down and smashing it every time it run tries to rise out of the crucible. All right, I got three minutes of this stuff, so it should be it plenty. Let's head into the nether. By the way, I got a, uh, I don't remember if I was recording this, but I got oh, shimmering saplings from Rika. That's a cost of one iron. And get them.
But anyway, here's another fortress. Oh, crap, I forgot something back at home. Uh... Nah, I'm clumsy. I forgot the most important thing for the... Where we're going. Uh oh, I have to find it. Be right back. All oh, right, I'm back in the Nether. My system. Crap, I. Yeah, let's just leave that. Um, no, oh, that's normal Didn't skeleton. For this. There we go. We now have ourselves a wither spawner. One hundred percent wither skeleton head drop rate. That is so fantastic. In any case, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing this for the next little bit. Um, clearing out space for them to spawn. You know, doing that. Trying to make it so. Oh goodness. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Oh god. Alright, I've made a new incense stick. And this is why I don't like the morph mod. Literally no challenge with the configs that we currently have because all mobs ignore you even if they're punching you, if you're punching them. I might as well have Peace Broker on. Whoops. I'm gonna go ahead and log off for the night, and then tomorrow I'm gonna uh, do some testing in single player to see what kinds of protection I'll actually need for the Gaia Guardian fight, because if I'm not gonna get the benefits of armor as a spider, I might as well get an achievement for it. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. I'll find a way. Potion's like a motherfucker. That is a way. How come 100% beheading cleaver is not beheading 100% of the time? Um, oh, well, this is the way, uh, the roll works. Um, each level of beheading is a separate 10% roll. Didn't know you could But it says, says on the actual center. thing, it says 100% chance to behead. Yeah, it's every, every individual beheading enchant is a separate roll. So it's got. They just it's going to, the tool tip. So it's going to do the ten percent chance ten times, basically. Yeah. That's really stupid. You will get multiple drops, but yeah, that's how it works. Or you can't. Oh I yeah, think because that drops. makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot. That of just sense. seems like that does seem incredibly stupid because it also seems incredibly unperformant. Um, that's probably perfect. yeah. I mean, granted, I mean, it's sure, not going to be killing doing everything. that check and take or anything, but time, still. But holy crap, that was stupid. Alright, well, I'm logging off now. Okay, wait, no, I'm going to keep doing this, disconnected and... From your channel, right after, from the sorry, because it's taking forever to get with their skulls and schools, and I want at least 30, so I'll be right back.